Sarah Blasco, welcome back. And where have you been? Why haven't I chatted to you for so long? I don't know. <laughs> um, I don't know what I've been doing. I've just been <laughs> making music and I guess it's been a couple of years between albums. So, yeah. And you speak of your influences as um, uh, people like uh, Sir Paul McCartney and Bruce <laughs> Springsteen and Michael Jackson. Why those particular, why, why that era of music? Um, well, yeah, I think this album's essentially a pop album and um, I was a child of the 80s and that was the music that I grew up listening to and, yeah, it was a bit of an influence on this album. Yeah. Tell, tell us about the, the new album, Eternal Return. Um, yeah, like I said, it's a pop album. It's a, a love album. Um, it's um, uh, lots of like layers of synths and um, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, including <laughs> so. a track um, which t t tackles that issue. And but here we have yesterday a female jockey breaking through as the first ever to, to win a Melbourne Cup. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, and you sort of t take on the, the what you believe is a male-dominated world of um, sort of show business. Yeah, I do have a song called I Want to Be Your Man on the record, which is, um, yeah, it's sort of, I guess, dealing with how sometimes it feels to be a woman in a pretty male-dominated world, but, yeah. Um, essentially, unashamedly, a love album, this one? Yeah, I, th I think it is. Um, I mean, it's it's not just about romantic love. I mean, there's songs about friendship and... Um, you know, sort of more universal um, love. Um, and, yeah, like you are saying, you know, songs about how it feels to be a woman, um, you know, in a man's world. Um, but I think at the core of it, yeah, it, it is a love a love record. It has to sort of be a man's world, I think. Because, no, it doesn't have to be. But Does it? it but no, but <laughs> yeah. it must be sort of pretty well a man's world, given that we, we are so happy and thrilled that uh, Michelle Payne could break through yesterday. I mean, yeah. uh, but that getting the spotlight it has sort of mm. says, yeah, well, it probably is a man's world. Yeah, I think so. Um, where do you get inspiration from for songs? Is it stuff that you think about and then you want to t t tell a story via music? Yeah, I think so. I mean, it, it stems from my own life and my own experience. But I think the wonderful thing about music um, or, you know, doing anything creative is that it takes on like a heightened, um, uh, yeah, a heightened feeling and it, there's a certain element of it being kind of fictional and it's difficult to distinguish between what's sort of truth and what's fiction and, yeah. Um, but I, it, it all comes from, from my life experience. But um, then from there, yeah, you, who knows what it turns into. <laughs> uh, do you enjoy the recording process or do you, are you um, impatient in the studio or do you like to be in the studio? Because everyone seems to be different. Yeah, um, I, I love it uh, because there's just, there's things that you can do there that you can't, you know, um, achieve live and... Um, and yeah, but there's something a bit frustrating about it at times when you want to move fast. And I do love the immediacy of performing live because it's just, um, yeah, you've got the energy of the crowd and, and, um, and that kind of thing. But um, the studio is just a different sort of um, medium, a different feeling. It just, it, it just takes a while to kind of get in that headspace when you're starting. But um, yeah. Um, you're playing a special show at the Opera House. Um, I played it a few weeks oh, ago. Oh, you've done that? Yeah, it was like an album preview. Um, so I played the the album from start to finish um, and there, there were uh, commissioned uh, visuals as well. Um, but, yeah, the actual tour for the whole um, album is not until next year. So, uh, But, of course, the album out on Friday. And uh, do, you, do you enjoy touring? I love touring, yeah. Performing live is sort of like my first love. That's you know how I kind of got into music um, and then I started recording after that so yeah I love performing live yeah. and in front of a live audience um, who've come to see you it's like validation that uh, that you know the audience loves your music well that's a, a, always a nice thing yeah to have a, an appreciative crowd for sure you um <laughs> you, you mentioned uh, before we came on air that uh, pr probably you haven't been here for a while because you you, you haven't been recording uh, what, what do you do you write as a project or do you just write when the inspiration takes you? I, I do a bit of both but I, I love to write as, you know as like a you're putting together like a collection you know um, so it's sort of it's nice to try and write as much as you can in a sort of a pretty short space of time because then I think that everything tends to sound of each other you know and, and, and of a similar world because um, I think the majority of these songs I wrote probably in a um and in sort of in this intense kind of um songwriting um week that I, that I had with two friends of mine um and I, yeah i think it's interesting that 
that that's the majority of the album now is the, the songs that were written really close together. So. Yeah. The album is called Eternal Return. That's released on Friday, which is uh, fantastic news for Sarah Blasco fans. When oh, uh, the tour will be coming to Melbourne, of course, but yes. which part of next year? In April, yeah, I'll be playing at the Forum. Again. Well, you, you might be back here again. Yes, hopefully. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy one of the other tracks from Eternal Return, Sarah Blasco's brand new album, and it's called I'd Be Lost. Here we go.